Morning guys. Hope you're all okay. Uh, I wish uh, I've got a cold, I think, or something. I'm really stuffed up. This weather is really not helping. It's bitter cold. And it's been raining. It's bitter cold out there. And it was a lovely weekend. Right, sorry about that. I had to take that phone call. Oh. Right. I need some breakfast. I haven't got, oh excuse me, I haven't got anything to do in here today. I've got nothing in here to do. I've got nothing at all in here to do today. So I'll just get something to eat. Hopefully have a quiet day. I think it's full because it's just run down, that's all. I don't know. Right. Hopefully you can see me. I'm going to do these fairy cakes. So. I'm going to do banana bread as well, so I'll do the fairy cakes first, so you want some 4 ounces of butter on margarine, it's alright, it's already open this one, do this one because it's closed, you want 4 ounces of butter on margarine, it'll use that up anyway. You want four ounces of caster sugar. So, because I'm out of caster sugar, I don't think it'll make a difference. I've done it before. I'm using normal sugar. Uh, you want... Two eggs, self-raising flour, and some milk. I've used normal sugar before. And it's been fine. And then you want one to two tablespoons of milk and four ounces of self-raising flour. And then I'll do the icing after. So I've got my bowl. Cake tin and another one. So what we'll start, we'll put these in first. I've got these spotty cupcake. Green. Green ones. And pink, I think they are. So we'll use six of the pink. Yeah, it does look red, but to me it looks pink. And six green. See? Spotty. Now, put them aside and we'll get on with this. And pre your oven. 
to 180 centigrade, 160 centigrade for a fan. <coughs> and gas mark four. So we got them ready. <coughs> so let's get on with the bowl. So we want four ounces of butter, like I said, or margarine. So I need to put that into a a little dish. It wants to be softened, the butter. It's all right, I'm trying to make room here. So, just put it in a little dish and just soften it in the microwave. So, I don't know, I've got one here. I'll use this up first. Mind you, it is pretty soft, even though it's been in the fridge. So I might get away with it. Where's the dish gone now? Right, I'll just do this. go all right then you want four ounces of caster sugar I said I'm out so I'm using normal just put less in Just put less in, you'll be all right. And then all you do is cream your butter and sugar together. Mix it all round. So I'll come back when I've done this. There you go. It's all nice and creamy now. Give it a good mix though. Then add. If I can get one out. Your two eggs, one, two, and mix it all together. Hang on, I need a whisk. Just keep mixing it. There you go. Doesn't take a minute. 
right? Then add your flour. You want your flour. I got these spoons, they're really good. Like measuring spoons. There you go. And then as you're mixing it, just add a little bit of your milk. Oh. Just mix it all round. Because you don't want it, you know. There we go, look. Too thick. See? Without it tipping everywhere. I hope you can see this all right. I should have a push. Sorry, guys. Push it back a bit. Does that help? See? A soft. You want it nice and soft. Even if I haven't got caster sugar, you can always put less sugar in. I have before now. I did say I lost everything. My blender, all my cooking stuff. When I moved here, I can't find any of them. So it doesn't help trying to bake when I've got to start all over again. Picking up stuff, but... At least I've... Right, so get your two trays, red, your pink, the pink and green ones, nice and spotty, then uh, get yourself Well, that's not very big, is it? And you want to just half fill with your mixture into your cases. Because obviously they rise. So put them all into your cake cases. I hope you can see this because <laughs> you should be able to. At least you've got content for today. I have been promising to do them anyway but I know they don't take a minute to do, but when you're having, you know, 
Just add a little bit extra in them, not too much. When you have a lot to do, you know, things going on, it's, I know some days like today I have nothing to do, believe me so. Right, there you go. Trouble is now, I've had the heating on and now I found some, um, menthol sweets so i've just had one there so that's helped a little bit and there you go i can't do it too much and then pop them in the oven and i could get on with the banana bread and these take about eight to ten minutes So we'll pop them in the oven, keep an eye on them, then grease proof paper in your loaf tin, I've only got two bananas, but I'll use them up. So let's get on with the banana bread, because this is quick. I'll put all the details in the description down below for you. So I've got my tin. These are ideal. They last years and years. So let's put this aside. And uh, right here we go again. We've first of all we want the butter, so let's put that in. Four ounces. Where's my spoons? That's the trouble when I bake; I lose everything. Right, you want four ounces of butter or margarine. Handy to measure in spoons, I'm glad I got these. I am glad I got these spoons. Right. Four ounces of margarine or butter. Then you want six ounces of caster sugar, but like I said, I'm out, so just use less of uh, normal sugar. Trouble is with me, I'm good at guessing. Then you want two eggs, ripe bananas, it says two. It doesn't have to be ripe. Self-raising flour, baking powder and milk. And then you just put everything into a bowl and mix. So we want two more eggs. You just put it all in. Oh, that was smart. I've dropped a bit of shell. I've dropped a bit of shell. Let's scoop that out. Two eggs. What? Then you want your ripe bananas. But they don't have to be ripe. They don't have to be ripe. Oh, sorry, I put that in your way. If you've got bananas that are just, you know, going 
discoloured like this. It looks horrible, but honestly, my uh, fruit and veg lady gives me um and um like this. If I'm doing banana bread, and customers ask her for it as well. And then what you want to do, like I do, go another dish and a fork, chop them up. They should just thingy. Pop them in your bowl. See? They are soft enough to just... I could never eat bananas when they've gone like this. But there you go. And then what I found easier to do to mash them up, you can use a fork or a potato masher. So much easy and simple. I'm trying not to make any noise because people have headphones in. There you are, give it a good mash. I know it looks disgusting. But there you go. Add that to the rest of your ingredients. Like I said, I'll put everything down in the description down below. Then your flour. Eight ounces on this one. And you want self raising, obviously. You laugh at me. I used um, plain flour one day and I thought. Okay, why are they not rising? Then you want baking powder. I thought, why are they not rising? You just want a, t a teaspoon. I use this one. I thought, why are they not rising? About a teaspoon. You don't want much. And then two tablespoons of milk. Where's my milk gone? And you want two tablespoons of your milk. I know I'll put three in. And then, mix it all together till it's red, all nice and soft and mixed in well so you haven't got no lumps give it a get rid of that bit just mix it all in like I said I'll put it in the description down below 
Look, I can't tip it too far because it's going to come out. But there you go. Just give it a good mix. Simple enough. Let me just check on the fairy cakes because they don't take long. No, they're all right. Mix away. I was in no mood to do this today, but I've been promising to do it so I thought oh well got no housework to do I thought I'll do them for you today then I mean I've lunch yet just clean these away a minute these eggshells to give it a good mix doesn't take a minute doesn't take long to do but then while I'm mixing this icing sugar for all the fairy cakes and then I'm just going to put some Hundreds and thousands over the top. Right, that's ready now. It's well mixed. Into like a batter. Get your loaf tin. Like I said, grease proof paper or you can grease it with some margarine right I'm going to guys my hair smell out I've got my hair tied up I do when I cook you don't want hair in your food do you sorry for showing my tummy and then Pour it into your loaf tin. Oh gosh. Yes, I'm not a clean person when I bake. It's like a batter, isn't it? I'm really not in any mood for this today, but I have nothing to do really. I've got dishes, I'll do them, get them out of the way. I think it's about half past two, twenty to three. I've had no lunch, but I was not hungry. I wanted to get on, I thought, oh, I'll do some baking. I have to be in the mood to do baking as well. There you go. There you are, and I've cleaned up everything away. That's full of rubbish. I got rid of some eggs. Because I'm not eating them at the moment. And there you go. All done and then pop that in the oven and bake for about an hour until well risen and golden brown 
and then just pulp it with a, a skewer in the centre till it comes out clean. I just hope you've seen all this on the video. Right, before I pop that in, I've got to quickly do this without me fairly cake. It doesn't help with my oven. I think uh, the temperature is going on the cooker. It's a good job it's covered because if it's, it breaks, I've got breakdown. So if they can't fix, they replace. So yeah, I've got these. I've got some more somewhere. And I've got the ice and sugar here. I have got more, I know I have. Right guys. I have been promising, so I'm not up to it at all today, but I did promise I would get them done at some point. But like I said, when I've got a lot to do, Because some things I can't put on the video, so... You know what I mean? I can't put everything on the video that I do day to day. I can't put everything I do day to day on the video, so it looks like, you know... Like I said, I've been out before now, took Dash for a walk, I haven't done a video. Or I've been at the boys, I haven't done a video. So, you know, I'm doing stuff off video. Or one, you know, I just say I've got one of them not well at all at the moment. But, I've done it for you. So... You've got your loaf bread and your fairy cakes. I know I said I was going to do them. I've been saying I was going to get them done, but honestly, even just doing a video, it's not the video, it's the editing, uploading. Especially if it's slow. You'll tell by the video. Some nights it's gone up midnight, one, two in the morning. But that's part of editing. It can take, it's not 10 minutes. It can take hours. Especially if you've got to move your video over to a file. But that needs to then upload into that kind of file. Then from the file, you have to edit, watch the whole video edit bits out, then you have to then move it onto YouTube and then it has to upload onto YouTube and then finally you get to see it. It is time consuming. But I love doing the videos, don't get me wrong, and then in between, you know, I'm doing the video during the day for you and then I've got... Um, like I said, I've got appointments, shopping, help, you know, family, or I've got family round. So it is, especially, what was it, Friday, I got back at half past six. And I didn't eat then till, I don't know. But by the time I get something to eat, get myself a shower, Sort dash, get him a walk, sort this place, get your video, do all the editing and everything, get it uploaded. If it's quick, I'm okay. But if it isn't, I'm sat up here waiting to get it up. Yeah, I could put it up the following day, but then you're not getting it. Like my videos. A lot will do... Say they do a video today, Monday. They sort of... It's always one day ahead. 
where mine, I do them and they're up the same day. Right, this is what I've done so far. I've got to get some more ornaments out. There's still more to come out, yeah. So I'm growing them. I had random seeds. They're flowers, so I put them in there. I don't know, I put some in here, but I don't think that is any good. Then the seeds in here. I've got my duck down there. That was kind of sent to me. I've got an owl, so I've got to get that. Then I've got my little ornaments that, you know, here, there and everywhere. Till, oh, so light. Till they decide what they're doing with the flipping garden. My three frogs. Oh, my God, spider. God, you get loads of flipping spiders on these stones. Hope, peace and enjoy. My gonks that you've seen before. Solar panel. Windmill. My stones. That one. Them two. Another solar light. I've got a little one down there. Then, in there, if I take the lid off carefully, to start them off, I've got six thyme, six chives, so pop that back on there. In here is a load of mixed flowers. Now, they were strawberries last year. I don't know if they're going to grow this year. I don't know. I've got to sort that out yet, but they were strawberries. Down here. In here is all flowers. See, that was kind of sent to me. I have. I've got to get the others out. I put them in my pots. More flowers in that one. Flowers in that one, you can see. And dash. And I keep rocks in that one. And I think that's it. That's how far I've got so far. I've got a lot more to be getting on with, I tell you. But, give or take the flipping weather. I've got to get grow bags. Yeah, I've got that. Oh, there's another one somewhere. And then my solar panel. Solar lights here. Then over here. I've got all these growing. These are all herbs. 18. So, what I've got to get is uh, lids for them. They're in the shed somewhere. Some random ones on there. And them down there. So, I'm, I'm getting there. Slowly. I've got a lot more to do. Uh, I've shown you some of the garden. I've got more ornaments. I've sent an owl and you put them in the pots. So I've got that to put in. That was kind of sent to me. And I've got other ornaments and that to put out. The strawberry plants, I'm not sure about. They have come alive. So I don't know if to leave them and see how they do. But... I've got to find the lid to the others to put on my other plants. Once they start to grow in them pots, I'll put them into bigger pots. There is plastic lids, but I've got to find them. They should have been all together with the little green trays, but they weren't when I come together. So I've got to find them. So for now, I just covered them with what I could for last night. God, I, I do, I feel rough today. But yeah, the banana bread, it will, it takes about an hour. I think it's about 10 to 3 now. I'm just deciding what to have. On my evening meal, I haven't even had lunch, have we on had wheat bits? Right, ice and sugar, bowl and water. And just, all you got to do is mix it basically till uh, it's thick enough. I'm just going to check. 
I'm just going to check um, me banana bread a minute. Looks done. I like it nice and brown. Hang on. Oh God, I told you I'm lucky. I don't know what she needs. I usually put more than normal in. It's better too much than not enough. I reckon that'll be it. And then all you do is add a bit of water and mix away. Just if you get you know, there's not enough in here. Just keep adding it till you get it to how you want it. I'll come back when I'm ready. Right, I've done the icing sugar. See? It's because I've got the... It's got to set yet. I'll show you in a minute. And then just add some sprinkles. Just add some sprinkles. As many as you want. Good as my last one, but it's not as good as my last one. But it's not too bad, it's edible. I could use, but I'm not going to. You could put uh, the rest of the icing sugar with the bits on, but no. Right, I'll show you now. It's not, it's more flat, this banana bread, but as I'm not with it today, I've done my best. But it's all right, you can still get a slice out of it. There you go. And there's your fairy cakes. All done. I don't think I've done bad. Twelve you got there. Yeah, and that's my banana loaf. It's not as... It's a bit flat to one I've done before, but you can see... It's not flat, flat. But like I said, I'm not with it at all today. And then the fairy cakes. I don't think it's too bad. At the end of the day, you know, you can eat it. So there you go, guys. I've done it for you. There you go. I showed you. Yeah, it's not anywhere as good. When I'm all with it, I'll do a better banana loaf than that. But you'll get a slice out of it. So, we'll do a taste sample. We'll do it. I'll just get them into containers and then the boys and my daughter can have them as I'm not allowed to eat cake. Huh. You shouldn't really eat cake. Mind you, it's all been it's all uh thingy, isn't it? I've made them. It's not like they've come from a shop. Shall we try one? Let's have a try of one, shall we? Ooh. Right. I don't know if they're properly set though yet. I'll take that one. Right. You want a bite? Your classes as my lunch. <laughs> oh, look at this. There you go. Mm. It's not set yet. Hang on. The icing's got to set. Mm. 
Very nice. Mmm. That is nice. I could touch some, but. Mmm. The nice part. Mmm. That's nice. Yeah, I always pick up my cake. I don't just shove it in my mouth. I don't just shove it in my mouth. I sit there picking till I bet it. Mmm. I'm trying not to talk on video because <laughs> eating. Mmm, that's nice, I like that. Mmm. Um, at least it won't go to waste, because, uh My grandson and the others will dig into them. I'll just split it between them. Don't know, I'm trying to eat this when you go drive, bro. Oh! You're trying to eat this and not. It come out your flipping mouth. I'm quite pleased with that. Mm. I'm quite I'm quite happy with that. You need to set though, you know what I mean? So leave them there and then I'll split them. Let's cover them so no flies or anything get on them. And then I can share them out. I'm with the uh, sun tomorrow. So they can have some of my grandson. But there you go. Banana loaf wasn't as good as ones I've made. I've done videos of banana bread. I did a homemade lemonade as well. There should be a video of me banana loaf and me homemade lemonade that I made. But uh, at least I've got them done for you. Normally, me, I think I should have done more mixture for the banana loaf. Should have done a bit more mixture, but I'm just not with it today. So, I might as well take the video. Just sorry they're late, me doing them, but when you're busy and got stuff you've got to do, you know, I haven't found the time. I get up tomorrow feeling better.
better object. Better than I have today. I won't say it's just tiredness, I don't know. It's just off today. It's not so, you know, I've eaten, it's not that. I don't know. I think a lot of it is the weather, doesn't help. Anyway, I hope you've all had a good day anyway. I'll be fine. Plod on. <coughs> oh God, who's that? Just finished doing something and I thought it was someone coming here then. Right. Get this lot away and it'll be time to... I've got some dishes here but I'll finish them off after. I'll finish them off later. Some of these are from last night. I did the dishes, but I didn't uh, do the cutlery. Just I rinse them again in the morning, then leave them overnight because of uh, Oh, that's for the wash. You don't know what's flying around at night. Hopefully tomorrow I won't wake up and find a freaking big spider crawling past me. That could be washed later. I've got to mop my floor because of that needs doing. Right, I've got these dishes to do, and then that'll be it then. Just the ones I've had the done the icing and some uh, the trays from the cupcakes. Right, that one's a clean. That one's dirty. I haven't even got washing. Makes a change. I thought I'd just chill today and just take things easy. I thought, no, I'll do some uh, baking. Right, I'm going to do some baking. But well, I think they look okay then. Anyway, I'm going to go. Soon be time now to do my tea. I'm going to have this pie. I'm going to have that for my tea. I've got to talk to Thursday. He's ringing up and then um, I'll be out tomorrow. I'm definitely going out no matter how I feel. I just feel absolutely awful today. But a bit of fresh air, something tomorrow. I couldn't cope with that two hour appointment the way I felt this morning. There's no way I could have coped with that. She said, no, not when you don't feel good. So, anyway guys, I'm going to go out and I'll uh, speak to you all tomorrow now. But yeah, I'll be fine. Just carry on. 
anyway take care stay safe and i'll speak to you all tomorrow bye guys